Hi guys, Mr. Yeager here, and welcome to another channel update. Huzzah. So, let's just, you know, I'm, I normally I write these things down on a list, but I think I'm going to go backwards because I think that works. So, uh, February was shit. Um, yeah, basically, uh, February was a bit of a bad month, vis-a-vis work-wise. Um, so, mentally, not really been feeling great. Physically, not been feeling very good, hence... Yep. Uh... <laughs> But no, it's, it's not been a good month, to be honest with you. Mentally not been feeling 100% lately, um, and yeah. So I'm on the I'm on the mend. I'm going to try and do what I can to be proactive and positive. But uh, today, just, you know, last few days, it's just not been feeling, well, last few weeks, to be honest with you, not been feeling great. But positivity where um, I'm hopefully going to come out of the slump and we can start pro being proactive once again. Um, so uh, going backwards from my, my list, uh, Star Citizen, as I've written on it. So um, stuff is happening. Uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to play Star Citizen for a couple of weeks because the game was not working, <laughs> which is fun. Um, yeah, basically, uh, the updates to Star Citizen made it impossible for me to play because I'd start and load the menu and then the game would crash. And there's not really a lot that you can find out from that. I'm not technically savvy. I'm not coding. So, unfortunately, it takes me a bit longer than, say, the average Joe to sort out. Um, I basically... It, the game was kind of buggy and glitchy anyway for me uh, to begin with uh, on the particular drive. So, I thought, you know what? Maybe this is the curtain call. Jump onto the other drive. And I basically, I was hopping on and off whilst doing other things to try and get the damn game to work. And it turns out the crux of the problem, among other things, was the face over IP uh, thing for its webcams. Now, for those who don't play Starter Citizen, basically it's this software which you put in, which any webcam can use, where it tracks your facial movements inside uh, the camera, and so your character can also talk and do whatever. Now, the concept is brilliant. The downside is if you haven't got a really good camera, your character just looks like this before you talk. It's really fucking weird. Um, so, yeah, and occasionally when you talk about... So it's, it's completely bollocks. Unless you have one of those really expensive camera webcams, it's fucking pointless. So, yeah, um, basically, uh, that was cool. They, when they updated it, they some idiot decided to plop a thing on which basically automatically turned it on. So the game wouldn't actually run, even in the menu, um, without you having connecting the webcam on. So once I found that out, um, I was able to turn the thing off and then suddenly it's working again. So yeah, it's not been fun. But regardless of the situation, the good news is we have now a persistence of sorts. Uh, primarily financially and inventorially wise, but that's all we really need. So I'm going to try and do something regarding to that. I have a, I've, I've, I have had something in motion before this update, so hopefully I can convert that into this and we can still be able to release the content. It's just it's taken a fuckload of ages, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway, going on to the next thing, new content. Now, you may notice I uploaded two different types of content. One about making fixing tanks, the other about squad combat. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Both of games I do find to be quite a lot of fun. Um, tank uh, tank Mechanic got a massive update as well, which is funny. Uh, like, I, I think it was recently it got like about a fucking gig and a bit. Like, two gigs, and I'm like, whoa! And a lot of stuff it got, I'm like, should have been there to begin with, but okay. So, yeah, that's that's fun. And, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to do more of stuff with that. Hopefully it hasn't corrupted my game save, though. That would suck. After all that time I spent with that fucking half track. <laughs> Only to find out that I was just being finitical, but still. I'm still going to, in regards to the tank um, thing, I probably will try and edit it down a bit. Um, just a tease. <laughs> Because, like, uh, the second episode, I'm... Yeah, I don't know if I've uploaded the second episode, but I I could... Slight spoiler warning ahead, I'd take a while on the second episode. We're looking at, like, my normal hour uploads for the se Same goes for Corruption, uh, to be honest with you. Though, that, that said, that is not going to happen as likely because I kind of was doing a bit of an explore. And uh, it turns out I didn't need to explore. But regardless, I appreciated the opportunity to gain some experience and to play and enjoy the gameplay and all that jazz. So it's still fun gameplay-wise. But anyway. Um, so yes, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know in the comments section down below. And I will try and do what I can for more enjoyable things. Um, so, big news. The Division. Now, if you guys are not following The Division, basically they announced a while ago, about uh, halfway through the last month in when I found out, that they are doing a massive content drop and like a DLC slash expansion known as the Warlords of New York. So we're going back to New York and uh, we're going to be uh, doing the good old fighty fight for the city that I've been for in the first game. 
Um, and yes, we will be doing lots of live streams. So tomorrow, once I finish work, I'll basically be coming home, trying to get some sleep, um, and then go straight onto the game and we'll probably play much into the night. But still. Uh, so yes, uh, that'll be that for that lot, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so... Um, Probably what's going to happen with regards to next week regarding streaming is we're probably not going to have the usual format like we normally do. So Monday, obviously, we'll be doing the division. Two on the Wednesday, we might be doing the division, uh, and potentially Friday, we might be doing the division. So variety may not be great on next week, but then hopefully we'll be able to return to more of a normality thing. I may even change my mind at some points, but who knows? Regardless, though, um, I hope you guys will enjoy in the in things. And if you obviously you know, you know, I will be restreaming. So for those who watch stuff on YouTube and you don't really fancy getting a Twitch account or whatever, it's fine. Most of my, all, almost all of my streams have got have come straight to YouTube. Anyway, so anyway, I will love and leave you guys uh, because I basically I've got something coming up for Hearts of Iron. Slight detour, Hearts of Iron wise, I I did work on something before the new La, La Resistance pack came along, but then the game, the mod updated again, and I technically did a mini campaign with New Canaan and technically succeeded, but I didn't segue the series out. So I was halfway planning through something, and then that's when basically because I took a day, a fucking day, to do something else to try content wise. That's when the fucker updated. So it doesn't really end on a on a it just kind of just stops. But we had technically already succeeded. So I'm counting that as a success. Though again, I'm debating on whether I should upload it or not, but eh. Um but regardless, uh something else has come up which um I'm very eager to test and to see if it works and if it does work. Oh. Anyway. So yes, um Ad Victorium. Anyway, if any of you got what that means, you know what might be coming. Anyway, so, yes, I will catch you another time, guys. And, yes, thank you very much for your patience. And also, thank you very much for 2,152 subscribers. Fuck. That was a lot of people. Um, you know that thing I said about getting to 2,500 before we do a Discord? That looks more likely if we keep going at the rate we're going. So, yes, I will do what I can, and I will catch you next time, guys. This is Mr. Yeager, signing out.